Psalms, Psalms, chapter 106, verse 21. They forgot, they forgot Yahweh Yahweh Shah, their Savior, who has done such great things in Egypt, such wonderful things in the, in the land of Ham, such awesome deeds at the Red Sea. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shah, Bashem Rakhakodash, the Wadi Al Bashem El Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and pushing the word in sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip into the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Psalm 10, we see the chariots of the Lord lift up the whole full act into the chambers. Psalm 10, we see the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams at the ungodly and the heathens, rightfully so. Here, I'll brought this out of the Lord to the cause of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs they have taken upon. Oh, uh, right now the time is 7.58 a.m. in the morning. Saturday, August 24th, 2024, the whole year. Jacob's trouble. Um, damn. Uh, another fully wrapped your gun down. Uh, up in the field, Philly's out of control. So like, yeah, that's got a couple of notifications coming through my phone, my my, my tablet here. So um, back on the topic. And, um, you know, it's Jake, as usual, gunning each other down in Philly. They, they call it Chirac over there. That's part of the curses. See, we are in a land that's not ours. And everything is happening to us here. And that's how, you know, that's a clear indication who, you know, how we always shot people, who, who he's preferring to in these verses I just read. They have forgotten their power, Yahweh always shot. You know, coming into this ministry and learning this, learning this truth, um, I realized, you know, you know, um, the sins I have committed and the reason why is our um, reasonable service. Let's get that real fast to do this because we are, we are still here yet this day in our captivity. We have to go to work, slave for the for the for our Shashua. We have to go and slay for anybody. I was just watching Jake. Um, uh, you know, Ishikar. Um, he's a. Uh, he's a. Uh, you know, working for um Moab. Washing pots and shit. But not knowing that you you we kings with um. Uh, Another verse is jumping my mind. Salakia. Let's see if it'll pop up in the blue letter. Servant upon horses. I'm sure that's how. I want that one first. Oh, Jesus, do it this way. Salakia. Go back. I know that's um I can't remember. Servants upon horses, Bible verse. Yeah, Ecclesiastes. Uh, yeah, so let's get that real quick. Yeah. I didn't want to pop up for me. It's a lock. I hold that for a minute and I want to get this first. It just jumped in my mind, too. Let's go here. What is this? What is this? What I need? All right. Let's go use this one. Our reasonable service Bible verse. 
Romans, yeah. V verse, um, let's go, matter of fact, let's go to the blue letter. Because then we could uh, get other verses too. Copy that. Let's see what that says. Because it, it is our reasonable service to get out there. Because we've been called, bro. And, and like I said, you know, we all say it, the same thing. We all experience individuals that came in this truth with us and they're not here no more. And that's terrifying. Very terrifying to me. All right? Very, very terrifying. And going back to thinking about the verse I just read. You know, Moses was giving us uh, a duty. And he was... Um, I know according to the Spirit, Yahweh I had to know uh, Moses... So he was reintroduced back to Yahweh at that moment when in front of the burning bush. But it wasn't revealed. To, or how, whatever was revealed to him, you know, he went up there and got the, the Lord's Statue of Commandments. It was, it, it was for us. It was for us to learn. You know, he brought it down and we learned that we learned the Lord's Statue of Commandments. That's why we have the Bible. All right. We got the Old Testament and the New Testament and the Apocrypha. Because every time a man came back, reincarnated he added to the book and that's why we have this for our learning today okay this is why we learn this is why we at we're, we're, we're at point now in our life we learned that from our um the lord has had mercy on us the sure mercy of david to show you that the lord is very merciful he um he um he showed David mercy. Okay. And there you go. That go reincarnation right there. Okay. <clears throat> and again, as um when he came back as Peter. Okay. So the Lord always had um he always dealt with the same man according to the spirit. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> all right, um Romans chapter chapter twelve. The headline reads dedicated dedicate ser dedicated service. Um, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Um, I, I beseech you, therefore, Benjamin, by the mercies of Yahweh Yahushua, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. All right, this is your reasonable service. Okay? To get out there on the highways and hedges. And make due to your make due to your calling. Fight for that crown, man. Because if you don't, if you if you're doing this um for vain, like see if you a spy, that's <laughs> that's worse than um the Lord um well I I guess everybody have their agenda. Everybody got they they role to play. If you some spy and you spying on the camps, you spying out the liberties of the men of the Lord. You, you're crazy. And the Abba Shmuel Shai is um. Is 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 making this an illusion to you? Then, you, then it's, that's that's even sadder. You know. So you you better hope and pray that you're one of his predestinated ones. You know, pray, pray for salvation, pray for your family, because you don't know what you have done to Yahweh Shimon Shah in your past life. And I say that every day to myself. I I can't remember. Imagine remember the former days. And then you learn this. Yeah, the Lord take the veil of your head. Shit. That's an issue right there. Alright, so. Um. I wanted to see something here. <clears throat> Alright.
right, this is the NLT. Um, this is Romans chapter 12, verse, verse 1. <clears throat> and so, dear brothers and sisters, see, I plead with you to give you, to give your body to Yahweh Elisha because of all he has done for you. All the things Yahweh Elisha has done for us, man. And those things we just read in Psalms, how he got us out of the land of Ham, which is Mount Zion. And he opened the Red Sea and he did marvelous things in front of us, man. He gave us signs back there. The scriptures tells about all types of things he did right in front of our eyes. Man, if we remember this now, <laughs> I say this, man. If we if I even knew, if I even saw, remember a chariot, how it looks right now. And I know that was my power. I'm sorry, I still like it, bro. I'd probably run around smacking heads off, man. Knocking computers down. I wouldn't be going to work. <laughs> but we know we got to work out our own salvation with fear and tremble. So it makes logical sense to get out there. Because we don't know. We don't know if we're going to be saved. I, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the job I got in the store for me. I know one thing that the scriptures tell me. It comforts me. And it tells me, hey, um, uh, what's the one? It just, um, don't let your sins wear you down. Keep on going, man. The, the um the, if if it's, if um one of the brothers said if um nobody um confronted you or anything if you got you know you always got you you always gonna have to be um kind um it's always gonna be um brothers watching your videos they ask you you know I always get asked yo um what's your channel or you know if any if people you always gotta be watched. Somebody's always watching you. You always got some one or two. You don't know who it is. Well, this, this, if anybody had anything to say, they would have to say it to you. Because you post an uh, open rebuke is better than a secret love. You know? And that's how you about to keep going, man. Don't get, don't get, um, uh. Remember what you have about, let me say this. Remember what you have about Shemel Shah has done for you. You got to have faith that you are these people, man. You gotta believe it, man. And in the curses, the, the other thing, the curses clarify that this is you. You getting gunned down? Look how this what the bro the individual just I just saw my feet, right? Um Philly rapper YBC Duel shot and killed after dragging up I mean digging up enemies' grave. What the fuck? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. I tell you, this, place, this place is getting out of control, bro. You know that's a curse right there. See, you going around doing ruthless shit to each other, ruthless man. The the, the curses fit us to the T, bro. Yah Bashim El Shah had definitely um done his deed that he said he was gonna do. That's in lemonade lamentation. You know. But he also did wonderful things in before our eyes. <clears throat> he got us out of the hands of our enemies, man. He's going to do this again, bro. That's what that, that's what you gotta understand. He's gonna get us out of out of the hands of our enemies again. And so, uh, believe it again, Salaki. You know, just speaking. Cause that's why we urge you to get out. If you feel that the urge, if you feel the the um the need to get out there and and, and as the as as following the, the um following following uh Yahweh Al Shah through his men that he set up, being taught by them, if you feel the urge to do that, man, you should do it, man. You should get out there and prophesy against this society, man. Because it looks like it, it, it feels like it's it's it looks like it feels like and it's going to happen. It, this place is going to collapse, man. And we're going to get everything back, man, that we don't have. You know, we're gonna get everything we lose on this side back in a hundredfold. That's what you, how we always, That's what y'all shot said. Because this is where we, this is why this is your reasonable service. 
And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give you to give your to give your body to Yahweh Osha because of all the things he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. This is truly the way the word will prove that what Abraham was about to sacrifice his son Isaac. That was truly the way to um, to um, worship Yahweh Shah. To give everything that's yours to him. You have we have to recognize everything is his, including you. Um Salakia, so we'll come back to that real quick and Uh, I don't first I wanted to bring out, but, um, what was that? This wasn't open. All right, let's close this one. All right, All right so, so I'm, um, it seems like the Spirit is guiding me in a different direction. Um, let's see what's here. Salaka, just reading a few verses. Okay, um, and we have to come in one concordance. And um, like I said, this is why this is a love thing. We love the, the brotherhood. And from our apostles on down, um, if they hear something wrong, another man says they re, they um they correct it. Hold on, this verse just jumped to my mind. Hold on, restore one to meekness. All right. So Salakia. All right, hold on, let's go back. Hold on. We gotta do it this way. Restore one to meekness. Bible verse. If I said that right. Um. And if we hear something, if our apostles and even us, if we hear something, we say something, man. We are not gonna leave it. And and then um. And because we don't want to be left out there, for number one, we don't want to be left, um, saying something wrong according to and according to doctrine, not doctrines, doctrine. We want to be able. To, we want to do this correctly, man. You know. Cause we are um we are undergoing a transformation from um from being under these curses and back under blessings. Okay, just rolling the spirit, man. And I'm up. You know, I'm about to go hit the plantation. <laughs> See, gotta hit the plantation. We know what that means. We gotta go to work. You know. That's that's a part of that's a, um um what what it says it says um um we are subject to payment so how do we you know one of the ways we paying back is our um debt to Yahweh Shem is being is going under the, the people that he put us under until he come get us out Galatians chapter six verse one. Bedroom. If a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a man in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thy also be tempted. You see? You better get that shit cleared up quick. <laughs> we don't want to be tempted to that shit. So that's why genuinely our apostles to her. Apostle Gabal, Apostle Ricard, Apostle Ramla, and the other Akim from Connecticut, you know, Shalom to them. They what they do, they restore to meekness. They say, hey man, that's not the um that's not the right way of breaking that down. This is how you break it down. 
And if the spirit is dealing with you, he will um you will love that you've been corrected. That's what that's what what was happening in the in the um in the in the um desert. I mean in the world um in Mount Zanai. We was being corrected. We was coming out of exile, bro. We was coming out of prison, man. Egypt was prison. Being under the Egyptian was a prison, bro. Okay? We was coming out there. We was in hard rigor, building up a fucking place for um um uh for for, for the Egyptians, right? We was coming out. The Lord got us up out of there, and brought us up, and He said, "Listen, you about to go through some more um prisons because you're going to be a stubborn people, bro. You see all this gloriousness things happen in front of you, and you still going to act a fool." So you know what? I'm gonna put you through a whole bunch of, put you up under a bunch of different nations. I'm gonna let you win here and there, but until the the last W is gonna be by my son, and his name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, that's how it's going down. Okay, <clears throat> so we have to. Uh, We have to rebuke in all long suffering and suffer this madness that's going on around us. It's a lot, yeah. Just, just jumped in my mind, too. Rebuke in all long suffering, Bible verse. Okay, this is our jobs, man. This is our jobs. This is our job, bro. Until further notice, man, we gotta do this, bro. Until we y'all about to shot, do what he gonna do to us, how this gonna be, you gotta still get out there, bro. If you earth if you're earth, um I we perceived you, we've been perceived. Right? Hold on one second. Did I bring in that verse? Uh, let's go back real quick. We'll come back to that. We got the verse. Um That was, oh boy, which one was that? Here we go. All right, let's say, let's go real fast. I just want to see what the word besiege me. I'm sure we went over it tons of times. <coughs> I besiege you. All right. Strong's G thirty eight seventy. Parakaleo. 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 Right. Um, to call one, to call to one side, call for summons to address, speak, call, call to, call upon, watch, which may be done in the way of extorsation, extorsation, um, Entreaty. Entreaty. Comfort. Confront. Instruction. Etc. Amonish. Exalt. To beg. Entreat. Besiege. Strive. To appear. To appear by entreating. Um, we uh, cons to console. To cur to to encourage. By and strengthen by consolation. Comfort. Receive consolation to encourage, to be confronted, to encourage, strengthen, exhortation, ex exhorting, exhorting, and confronting, and encouraging to instruct, teach. So we tell you that that's right there. That's what the word. That's what the word precedes me. Let's hear this again. Strong's G thirty-eight seventy, Parakaleo. 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 <clears throat> so trust me, we are being scrutinized till we've been watched. Hey, Volcan Balone just um he just called out um he's watching too. Right now, everybody's being taught. So it ain't gonna be no excuse. 
who the Lord Yahweh Shem is dealing with. It's going to narrow itself down, and everything is going to be revealed. I brought the Zion on the right side of this this um judgment. So that's what I pray we pray for. I don't know what um. Okay, hold on. I was reading that right. So, <clears throat> so I just read it again. Um. I encourage this. Put this. Put a different word there. A couple of different words. Um. What I said. It said. Um. I encourage you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Al Shad, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Yahweh Al Shad, which is your reasonable service. So we was given a service, okay, a dedicated service. I, I real fast, I know, but it's just you know when you say a word, you want to hear the meaning. You want to, oh, what that mean? Well, we're gonna learn together. You're gonna hear it just like I hear it. Service mean. Here's the definition of service. The action of helping or doing work for someone. And who would the someone we doing work for? How about Shimon Shah? This is how we're going to get our payment. So we're going to get paid. And these people ain't going to be able to say Jack. When we win. They're not going to say nothing, man. They're going to be seeing chariots scooping people up. And we're going to hope and pray we want those to get scooped up, man. Hey, man, there's nothing but a prisoner. There's nothing, we're nothing but a prisoner. Hope. Once we learn this, now we just like, what the hell are we going to do if we don't make it out? Get hit with these damn missiles? Nah, we don't want to be with the ungodly. There was individuals that was back there that was disrespecting Moses. After Yah, Moses came to them. With Aaron and told the Egyptians, "Yo, this is like, this is Yahweh Shemel. This is Yahweh's people. We want you to let them go. We want to go worship him." Moses Mo, and the Egyptians didn't want to let us go. The Lord hardened his heart. It was a lot of stuff being talked about right then and there. That that proved that Yahweh Shemel Shah controls everything. And so. Right to this day is the same thing. He's back then he was a true power. In the past, future, past, present, and future, he's the true power. Yeah, it's, yeah this thing is terrifying. It's, it's, but the best part is um is enduring. Enduring as a good soldier. This is, I tell you the truth, this is the best thing I've ever done in my life. I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I say it every day, I was telling my daughter, I told my little one all the time, I, said, I don't know if I'm going to be saved, but I'd be damned if I'm going to go back just right now, like, into this shit, right at the end game? Shit, man, I don't know, I don't know, when's going to, when's going to pop up? Hey, I was trying to do something, right? It seemed like the Lord didn't want me to do that. For some parent reason, he didn't want me to do what I wanted to do. So he said, no, I want you to deal with this until this is over. Then I'll give you the next instructions. So that's what I'm waiting for. I brought the desire that I'm, um, because I, I, another thing, man, I, I truly believe uh, I've been having mercy. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get nervous, but oh, man, you know, you, you got, you got, you got these demons, Talking shit to you. You ain't nobody. You ain't special. And then, you know, you got little miracles that be happening, man. And I brought this out. I'll be preserved, bro. That's all I can say about this, man. I say this every day. Little things be happening, man. I wanted to do something that I couldn't do it, but now I got to still do what I'm doing to further notice. You know? So, I brought this out. The Lord... Man, I remember when they was pushing that Floor Nightingale. I was at this, I was at this gig for seven years, bro. I was there for seven years, and all of a sudden, I got I got um got caught up in some shit for no apparent reason. It wasn't even my fault. And they realized it later on after they start pushing the Floor Nightingale. But the Lord wanted me out there. He wanted me out of there because they started pushing the Floor Nightingale. You know what the Floor Nightingale um jump shot? 
everywhere. They start pushing it. I didn't even know what the hell to do. You know? And then boom, boom, boom. And then now this is 2024. Now we're getting ready for this next thing. I truly believe it's going to be a certain way. Like how, you know, how it's broken that they're going to push the, the, before they push the C-hip, they're going to push everything else before the C-hip. And then they're going to say everything is not working. So now we got to give everybody the, the C-hip. And when they, when the system collapses, then that's when it's going to, because they're going to gradually get rid of the dollar. Cause they, they, it makes it makes sense, but they they can't just crash the system. Cause all hell's gonna break loose. All hell's gonna break loose. So to me, they all cahoot to each other. You know, they got this as a domino effect. Uh, we'll do it here. China will do it here. And then Japanese do it here. And then Russia will do it here. Whatever. But they're going they're gonna it's gonna end up in the Valley of Jehoshaphat because we're gonna fight. Who's gonna see who's gonna fight the to, to, to control it? <laughs> For the elites. If y'all want to be the charge of this, you got to go over there and fight. But the Yabba Shemar is not going to meet you over there. He's going to crack those skies, sign that up. Right over there. It's like it. So this is our reasonable service. Service. The action of helping or doing work for someone. And we are working for um, Yahweh Al Shah. So it's a lot. Yeah. All right, where we at? Uh, I had a verse, right? All right, so for Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season. And, I mean, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. And that's what we are doing it. We're doing it with the same doctrine we was taught. Um, another verse that jumped in my mind. Jeez. Uh, Did I ever have that one open? I'll open up and it'll be still here. Let me see. Uh, time. Um, for we also are more sure of mercy. Sometimes I have to work wisdom. Um, it's a lot. I'm just want to look through scriptures. I have that already. See? Um, let's just jump the word jumped in my mind. Salaki. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got a lot of tabs open. Um, so. Bam. Here you go. Um, Second Timothy chapter three, verse 14. But continue in the th- in. But continue thou in the things which thou have learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them. And we, we, we are sure of it, man. We're sure that our apostle, we are about to be shot down. Is, this is the accurate way of doing this. Because we are humble, we are meek, we're not trying to be going around protesting, we ain't carrying guns. He didn't tell us to do all that, man. He told us to follow his lead. Yahweh Shah did not carry weapons. Okay? He has spiritual powers. Why would he need weapons? And another thing, was smooth, baby. Yahweh Shah was smooth. After he did a little preaching here and there, put the word out, did a couple of miracles, made people mad at him. So he said, you know, they said they wanted to get him, so he snuck through the crowd. That's how you know he wasn't trying to do nothing crazy. He didn't try to stand there and fight them. He knew he could beat them. So you know what? He said he skipped town. He said, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> These motherfuckers, got, they out of their damn mind. It's, look at this one. Get a stone. I can read his mind. He wanted to take me out. It says, the scripture says that Yahweh Shah knew what they was thinking. Wait, I got to find a verse that proves that. Let me see something. I don't know. This is just up to my mind. So we had, yeah, our king had spiritual powers. Jesus knew they thought Bible verse. It was a verse that something said like that. I remember reading that. It's a lot, man. 
Let's see if we can find something that, that clarifies that. Y'all people can't uh, beat y'all with shot. Look what he says. Let me see. Look, boss you upside your head with this scripture. <laughs> so I give a boss you upside your head with this scripture. Listen, there's a few of them. Let's read a few of these one. Let's read a few. It says, um, this is Ma um, Matthew's. This oh boy, yeah, people finished. Y'all finished, bro. I'm telling you, man. Matthew chapter nine verse four, and Yahweh shot knowing their thoughts said, wherefore think ye evil in your heart. Told you. He knew what they was thinking, man. Matthew chapter twelve, verse twenty-five, and. Yeah. <coughs> And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself should not stand. He the point is he knew their thoughts. You're finished. He know what you're thinking, Ashashua. He know what you're thinking, two thirds. He know what you're thinking, Nate. You ain't getting away with nothing. You just trying to get your little cash right now. And your vocab, you know, he know your thoughts too. You ain't trying you trying to win the crowd. In the spirit, I don't know who you are. I don't I I'm gonna tell who's who right now. It's like this truth, man. This 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 thing on this fire, we're going through this fire. And the odds is not against us. Elijah proved that. I mean Alicia and Elijah proved that. Alright. So like, that was just a little point. I just wanted to let me keep that one. Let me keep all that. I can have to make another video. Damn. All right. So like, it. that was powerful. That was powerful stuff. Um, did I read this one? Yeah. So right now we are um we are under the servants, but that's about to change. So. Um, We've seen the glorious things happen before us, bro. I truly believe that the Lord has did some miracles before me. And I don't know what I'll be doing for this to this day. Right now, I'm talking about just in this past two years. I got three years, I don't know. Man, a lot of things are happening. And um, I'm still like amazed at it. Just the little things. And the, that, I truly believe that was the I was your shot telling me I got your back. It ain't easy, but I see you trying. You know, I love Rapazah. I truly believe that's how he's speaking to me, just in my situations. And I, I want to... I, I, I see the kingdom, man. I can see the gloriousness of this, man. It's a great... It's the, the future is bright, man. It's beautiful, bro. So... <clears throat> it's a lot, I don't know where. I, well, I I know I I know I remember the verses I started with, but all these other verses that jumped in my mind was through the spirit. So Salakia, yeah. I want to read this real quick. Is Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse seven? I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walketh as servants upon earth. That's about to change. Where's that verse? This verse just jumped in my mind. My pocket was in the car. Oh man, I wish I could think of this verse right here. I need this verse. I know I know where it's at. I just can't. I know it's Baruch. I gotta find a verse. I'm gonna end it with this. I brought that, right? And now this Baruch. It was it Baruch chapter. Um. Oh boy, what is that? I have Oh wait. This might be it. Woo, this is it, baby. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get this out. Alright, um I'm gonna read a little bit of this. Where we at? We don't care for the time. We're just gonna read this one. We're gonna bring this home with this. Alright. Uh 
where to start. Let's go and pick a verse to start. Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. This came to my mind. This came to my mind. The Spirit fed me this. Salaki. for this, man. Baruch chapter. Baruch chapter. Um, verse 21. Be of good cheer, O oh my children. Cry unto. What the hell? Really? That was evil. Salaki. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, Yahweh, and he will deliver you from the power of the hands of your enemies. For, for my hope is in, in the everlasting, that he will save you. And joy, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which shall come, which, which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting salvation. For I set you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh our shout gave you to me again with joy. And that's the land I think that's the land speaking. Right? Right? Jerusalem. City of peace, right? Which is us. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Yahweh our child will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as, what is the point? You're done. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so will they see shortly your salvation from our power. From our power which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness as the everlasting. My children suffer patiently with wrath that is come upon you from your power, O El Shah. For thy enemies has persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. It's coming, okay? Regardless, man. We want to be the one third. But the scripture speaks about um you know two thirds making it after the after the the first after the um after the um, thousand years, they're gonna be making gonna be making a lot after during that thousand years, we're gonna make a lot of babies and bring it back just the nation. But salvation is coming, man. We gotta get the fuck up out of here. That's it right there. This book is everything, bro. This is the book, man. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shem El Shah, Yahweh Shem Kakudash, the Wadi Yahweh Shem El Shah, forgiveness of apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.